Hello everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube video again. Um, this is another video for you to understand um, biological psychology. Um, on the screen, you know um, what I'm going to talk about will be um, a, a structure, a brain structure, pretty um, necessary for, for everyone to know about your emotion. And then for this video, I'm going to let you know uh, what kind of function um, our help amygdala actually have, and then what will happen, uh, what have disorder will happen, so you have uh, amygdala um, dysfunction. Um, so before we start, so if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, please also like and share my video to your friends, um, especially for those who, who really interest um, understanding biological psychology stuff. All right. Um, so now you you are, you see um, terms on the screens is amygdala amygdala. Uh, so you have not yet viewed my previous video of biological psychology. Please go to view um, um, the last video because the last video I let everyone know um, our limbic system. Our limbic system actually consists amygdala and hippocampus. And then um, from that video, so I I explain um, some structure, some details of amygdala um, to you. So this is more necessary. Um, for understanding the, the basic and then to, to view this video. All right, um, so if you have already um, watched that uh, uh, a specific video of a limbic system, so I believe you, you are now, um, you have some very, very basic uh, concept about the function of amygdala. Um, so always keep in mind when talking about amygdala, we, we talk about emotion. Okay, so that's very, of course, amygdala actually have some other function, but um, this is more um, relevant, so more important function of amygdala about emotion. Talk about amygdala, talk about um, um, uh, mood, or talk about anxiety or fear, right? Okay, so that's why you see um, amygdala, and then um, right uh, um, at the bottom of the term, you see uh, responsible for response, and uh, memory of motion, especially fear, um, amygdala tends to to help us to respond to fear and then always trigger our uh, fight flight response, our fearful response. All right, so um, for example, when you see something pretty um, fearful or threatening, okay, so um, that will um, trigger some train reaction actually start from amygdala. Um, amygdala is, is something um, pretty useful for us to tackle with some dangers. Um, for example, um, while you are walking, uh, the very, very dark place. So this is very necessary for, for you have to get a little bit fearful. Okay, so this is the, the, the functional amygdala. But of course, um, you will probably consider, so when someone um, get very, very or oversensitive amygdala, then what will happen? Okay, so little problem I'm going to tell you later. Okay, so you see this is um, the, the, the structure of our brain. Okay, and then you see eyes here. Okay, so those are the, the things go through your eyes, okay, and then we will arrive uh, your visual area, okay, so um, you see, um, you, you remember our human being brain, so we actually have a, a structure for perceiving uh, visual images, and then visual images um, go directly to the cortex, visual cortex, okay, so um, once the, the visual image arrives our visual cortex, and then you will understand, you will interpret whether or not this is something uh, fearful, Okay, so for example, if you see something like this, like ghosts, so you probably will think, oh, this is very dangerous. This is very, very fearful. Um, and then when you see, for example, you being a student, so when the teacher uh, announced that it's a um, very, very sudden quiz or examination, right? So, and then you perceive the information, and then you, that will, of course, you get in, you, you interpret um, the announcement is something very, very fearful, threatening your, your, your survival. Okay. So that's why right after the visual cortex perceived the information and then your, 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 your brain perceived the, um, the information and then you interpret the information as something threatening. So that will uh, directly trigger the amygdala to react. Okay. So you can find amygdala, the location of amygdala somewhere here. And then you remember uh, hippocampus. Hippocampus will be our next topic stuff. Okay, so this is the uh, um, amygdala. Okay, and then you see a pituitary gland. So this is something I'm going to, to elaborate later on uh, of my video. And then your cerebrum, the biggest area of brain. Okay, so amygdala here, hippocampus here. Right? Okay, and then you see um, what I previously mentioned would be something frightening happen in front of you. And then go through eyeballs and the information will arrive. Um, the, the thalamus, okay, and then that, um, that would, um, go directly to the visual cortex, and then you interpret, 
um, the stimulus as something dangerous, and then that will trigger the amygdala to react. And then once your amygdala to react, so that will avert the effect that something happened, okay, so this is the um, your brain stem, okay, so of course, something happened would be your muscle reaction, your endocrine system, your stress hormone get everything activated because of this, go directly down, all the way down, um, um, the brain stem, and then to activate, like, uh, for example, cortisol, like some stress hormone get released, all right, okay, so this is a reaction of a, of a, of a stress, um, um, what happened when you see something dangerous from your eyeballs and then track the uh, uh, amygdala and then um, go um, all the way downward and then make a lot of fight fight responses. All right, so what I want to let you know for this video would be um, so in the world you, you, you always hurt people um, to suffer from mood disorder or anxiety disorder. Uh, some people get bipolar, bipolar means so they, 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 um, they, um, they would not really uh, with middle ground, so if not go too manic, they go depressed. So then, yeah, if you understand this is something related to emotion, and then you will think of um, perhaps this is something caused by some um, the, the function of amygdala. And then another uh, mental disorder called anxiety disorder as well. Anxiety disorder basically means so um, you have to know how they are different. So normal anxiety, when you perceive something as very dangerous, for, exa for example, um, teacher mentioned uh, a certain quiz, it's a real dangerous, right, for, for, for students. And then you perceive the information and then you interpret the, the information as dangerous. And then that you trigger your amygdala for like fight fight responses. It's necessary because you will put more effort, you will be more focused on study or pre preparing um, the certain quiz, right? But what happens to some people, for example? Um, so those people exposed to the environment, very, very stressful environment for a prolonged period of time, very, very long period of time, for example, um, keep having very, very stressful stressful tasks, stressful assessment, or having um, a lot of very, very frightening events to happen almost every day or e every three days. Okay, so for those people, that will make the amygdala too active or too sensitized. Okay, so then you can imagine when someone exposed to the environment, so keep occurring a lot of very, very dangerous signs, very, very alarming events. So the amygdala, amygdala get activated. And then, so you, you can imagine if you have a cell phone, and then once you want, you, you, you on, you switch on your cell phone for using, right? Okay, but once you off the cell phone, and then after a few seconds, you have to on it again, you want to, you have to use the cell phone again. So that's why from time to time, you learn something. You no longer want to off your cell phone. You keep your cell phone on, you're going to keep using it. Exactly like um, the reaction of our amygdala for those people pretty stressful. So that's why um, the amygdala keep like 24 hours on activate. Okay, so then you, you remember um, I told, so when the amygdala get, get on, switch on, and then that would cause strain reaction, like stress reaction, like stress hormone remain very high, and those people keep very, very fearful, uh, frightening, or everything. Okay, there's a problem of um, example like um, anxiety disorder, people with anxiety disorder, the amygdala get educated, get trained, trained up to be very, very sensitive to the environment. So even the, um, the stimuli, not really dangerous, not really frightening, but it tends to interpret the things, it, it tends to um, activate the, the, the amygdala for really like prolonged period of time, so that's why I make the, the whole body very, very tense, whole body very, very stressful, Okay, so um, there's a problem. Um, but luckily, um, in terms of different psychotherapy, so we can try, we can do a lot of math work for re-educate or retrain um, our, our, our calm down, our amygdala, and then make our, our life less stressful. And then the problem can cure like this. Okay, so this is not, not um, anyway, this is a topic of psychotherapy. Okay, so hope you understand um, some basic structure of amygdala and then what happened to those people uh, with too much stress, okay, um, and then um, the reaction of amygdala uh, activation. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.